are killed. Tina, GE trying to go for a little bit of a spray through the smokes, but not letting on this mark. We're looking at RRQ Atina here, having a little bit of a cover with the vehicles as well. D2 is just going to go in for the setup, cutting by from the left side. He spots out Marco, he does have that hollow scope, and now it's GE as well as Loki trying to spot it out. And instead, it's going to be a turnaround of events as Box Gaming having Loki taking it down. It's only going to be GE and I, and RRQ Atina locked out at 15th place. Box Gaming, they take the fight to the Premier Seasons champion. Right in, but inside of that compound, we have so many of these scenes crashing right through. Boss Gaming trying to wipe away members of Illuminate the Murder while on top of the hill. We still have Mega holding back and now looking at the side of Purple Moon. Only two members left fighting against everyone else. Matoy with the wraparound. It will be Boss Gaming here with the most amount of kills inside of Miranjo. Not only that, they still have four members of the three members strong and they are looking to actually finish this one out on Aaron Go while F FQ, they took a really bad fight early back and they are hunting for more. That's gonna be a raw fight going out by three Looking members. Links. Still got Stone on the side. Snowlings going right through the middle of the entire field. We got Peter just driving around like a madman. Oh my goodness me. Micro Boy still manages to stall. Same goes to Ryzen as well as they caught out or in CG and Snowlings gets depleted. Nine more teams left intact and managing to actually spot more members out. It's gonna be Zuxi here coming with a red dot side tab. And in that sort of distance, he secures that kill. Yeah, that's going to be him taking away a point, but points pushing into Marco. That's going to be Bones Gaming under fire. Loki is a 1v2, and Mega oh. conquers and kills in the bag. How did he survive that? Only one slayer of health, and now here comes VIP Squad. They take down Stone, and now where is the rest of them? They're just hugging by the corners of the wall while VIP Squad, they're going in for the invade. They're trying to stomp them out, and here goes Mega Conquerors. They win the first game, but instead, they get flushed out of the building. And those Indonesian teams clashing head to head, but John Bar oh. oh, he tries to go towards the side of Zuxi, and with that scar, that's not the weapon that you want to go up against when you're driving in the vehicle. Yeah, and he went in Hit diving in towards members of Megatron Esports. There goes Luxy, picked up by Swabell. And now, boom, Esports still standing with one member. Yakuza's going to be the next one to falter. And how could they even pull this off against Zuxi? Two times in a row, and they could not find the formula. And here comes Heiko as well as Benny, forced outside of the blue. And Jasper, the only one left standing inside that. Was Megatron, and one by one, they get taken out. I mean, they could have just gone as a group of four, but they played their cards really badly in that situation, and Megatron ripped the rewards of that four kills in the back. It's already closing by. He could not even run, and Jasper's the first one to fall in this top three scenario, leaving only Swabell behind. He's dropped his backpack as well to make himself a little bit more noticeable, but no, Megatron, the sharp eyes come in, and they pick up the second chicken dinner.